everybody. Hopefully you can hear me, but I need to keep my mask on. This is a very public area. So a lot of policemen and controls, like, and I, can, I don't want to get fined. But hey, long time, no outdoor adventure. Um, let's walk over here. Hopefully I don't get into trouble. Yeah, there, you can see me a little better. Um, so I wanted to show you guys a little more of the city of Brussels where I've been living in um, for on and off for about a decade now and I wanted to show you some of it before I moved to Tokyo and um, actually I'd already started filming uh, a lot of b-roll at the beginning of this year before everything went to shit so now we're going for plan B which is the pandemic version of showing you Brussels. So to prepare for this little video series, I asked you guys on Instagram uh, that if you were able to visit Brussels right now, what are the places you would want to see? And surprisingly, I got a little to no answer, which either means that either y'all don't care about Brussels, y'all don't care about <laughs> or the other option, which is the one I'm going for, is that y'all don't know that much about Brussels and what there is to see here, um, which is what we're gonna try and do today. So we're gonna hit up a few spots in the city center today, uh, show you a few things, and if you guys enjoy this kind of little series, if you get more sunny days, lovely, beautiful sunny days like these, we can do more, we can see more, we can visit Brussels a little more, and I'll be a virtual guide. God, this mask is not, not making it easy on me. Um, so our first stop today is actually one of the few requests I saw and it was to see a cathedral and I have exactly the one in mind that I want to show you. Before we go, I want to show you guys approximately where we're going. So many cranes. Right there is the Atomium. We're not going there today. It's much farther away than where we're going. We're going where that is. That's not the cathedral that we're gonna see. That's actually, I don't think that's the cathedral. I think it's City Hall or something. But we are going there. But we are going to be around that area. And we're walking, so we get to see a few things. Can you even hear me with this mask? Come on. So this is the Sablon area where all the antique stores and the art dealers are. Obviously, everything's closed at the moment. It'll be the same in the city center, but the buildings and the structure is really nice. And when you arrive at the Place du Grand Sablon, it's re a really beautiful place to look at. There are tiny streets that you can visit, even if all the stores are closed. I feel a little nervous about talking in public, which is why I might sound weirder than usual. <laughs> But we're arriving at Place du Grand Sablon, one of my recommendations, but not one of the official stops for today. And another fun fact, I used to work here. You'll see, I worked in a lot of areas of Brussels. <laughs> in the center of the city. I want to show you these flags which are supposedly a art installation. I don't know the background but we are now officially arriving in the city center. I'm just gonna cross here. Let's try not to die. Here we go. <laughs> arriving in the center of the city and we're gonna hit up that cathedral I've been mentioning. I used to take this way to work. Another work, not the one at the Grand Sablon. <laughs> Every day, on foot, which was fine, except when it wasn't. There's another place I actually want to show you that we're gonna see right now. So 
So right there behind me is a whole other area that I would like to show you one day. It will take a little more time and it's in the opposite direction of where I want to go today. But this is the Mont des Arts. Uh, up there you have the Royal Park, the Royal Palace, a whole bunch of <sighs> cool things. Why am I so out of breath? Uh, which we won't be doing today, unfortunately. But if you, like, if you guys like this kind of video, let me know and I can go film over there. So we're leaving this behind us and we're going straight ahead to the city center. And another fun fact, I don't know if you can see the rectangular building right over there. I used to work there too. <laughs> I used to work all over the place. <laughs> Flags over there, way over there. Actually, I can't really see them on this. There we go. That's where we're going right now. Pretty sure there's no one around. <laughs> this hi is I call it Saint Gudul, but I'm pretty sure it's actually called Saint Saint Michel et Gudul. Like there are two saints associated with this cathedral. Pretty sure it's closed right now. Uh, not even sure how access works. So sorry about that. I'm not gonna go try and go inside, especially film. I'm always a bit iffy about filming inside. Uh, places of worship if you've seen my Japan vlogs you'll know that about me there are a lot of cars so I'm afraid a cop car will pull up and be like hey wear your mask um, <laughs> so what do you think of my choice of cathedral I think this is my favorite one in Brussels I'm not even sure what are the other like actual is this a cathedral or is this a church uh, hang on I got some notes uh, a few years back, I don't know if they're still living up there, but a few years back they we had a nest of falcons right at the at the top, which was really cool. They had a um, a live cam for like uh, their nest and the the births and everything, so that was really cute. Okay, there are people around me now. This is getting really awkward to film in public, but oh well. We need more tourists around, guys, so uh, I don't look like so out of place. So. Saint Michel and Gudul. I was right. This is a Gothic building. I didn't even write church or cathedral. <laughs> oh, I write down that it's a cathedral. Yay! It's a cathedral. I did good. <laughs> and they finished uh, during like building it in 1519. Like I didn't research that much history to be honest, but just like a few facts to be kind of like a tour guide. Um, <laughs> Kind of be useful. This is gonna be really annoying. Ooh. Sorry, something else. Let me find the right spot for it. Over there. Okay. So remember this peak over there. It won't focus, but you know that peak that we saw from Place Poulart earlier. That's where we're going next. So we're getting closer to it. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. Uh. But yeah, <laughs> that's where we're going and that's the Grand Place. But I have a stop for you first. That's where we're going next. Galerie Royale Humeur. This part of the gallery is called Galerie La Reine and I think, I don't remember which is which, but further it becomes Galerie du Roi or Galerie des Princes. I think there are the three galleries inside there. And uh, that's the main place I used to work <laughs> one of those shops in there and this is still one of the most famous galleries in Europe if not the world Ooh. and they already have some Christmas decorations on pretty 
Like most of the stores here are super luxurious, but there's also some fun chocolate shops. It's so quiet. It's way too quiet. This is usually like the busiest little place ever. This is the Gallery of the King. I just wanted to see the decorations from closer up. And this is the Prince's Gallery. I mean, I just wanted to show you this gallery because it's really cool. I think one of the guards just saw me, but I don't think he'll recognize me. It's been a while since I've worked there. But as you can see, Galerie du Roi. And we're gonna cross back and exit from where we came from in Galerie de la Reine. The last thing I want to say about this gallery before we move on to the Grand Place, which I'm sure everyone is excited about, <laughs> is that there's a little game here you can play in some of the streets. You have to find them, I never know which ones they are. Is that you have a normal name street and then you have a second name street uh, in reference to a famous uh, graphic novel uh, from, I think from Belgium. I mean, Belgium is known for its graphic novels. It's actually called Bande dessinée. And uh, some of the characters have their own street names. I'll let you show you one of them. I don't know where the rest are, so you can make that a game when you come here. Okay, there you go. So you have the Galerie de la Reine, and this is Rue Yokotsuno. That's her, Yokotsuno. Mm -hmm. Do you know her? Let me know in the comments if you know this classic bande dessinée. Okay, here's the thing I've been showing you since the start of this video. That's where we're going. We're going to the Grand Place. Guys, if you're from a country where pickpockets aren't really a thing, just hold your bag. I mean, it's gonna be empty today, but the more touristy the area, the more you're gonna have a pickpocket problem. So uh, just be careful. Don't like let yourself be distracted. So keep that in mind, okay? Anywhere, not just in the city center, like in stations, anywhere. Sorry to say, Europe is a beautiful place, but it's not necessarily a safe place. Time for battery change. Okay guys, welcome to the most touristy spot here in Belgium. La Grand Place of Brussels, where everything is shiny and golden and beautiful. I'm trying to see it through touristy eyes, but I've obviously seen it so many times. Right now they're building like the Christmas stuff that looks like I don't know, a nativity barn? I'm not sure. Sadly, I don't know much about the complex except that there's the city hall, there's the king's house, and then like all the famous gates. But I cannot tell you which one is which. You're too young to understand. It's been a while since I about this place is that it became a UNESCO World Heritage I think in 1998 that there were people burned here during the Inquisition fun beheadings also fun um, <laughs> and uh, that even though I know this place so well I mean visually I still don't know which place is which um, I still find it really beautiful and it brings it brings back memories of nights out and when there's no cars and people just sit in the middle here and share a drink obviously these are times that are gone I don't know how long for but uh, yeah please come visit this place uh, I wouldn't recommend going into any of the bars because they will be like pricey AF but definitely come have a look uh, we have another stop, I'm just not sure which road exactly I have to take for that. I think it's that one or that one. Arr. I found another one. 
that's Mafonga. And also, that's where we're going. I thought I was going the right way. Yay! He is actually really, really tiny. <laughs> no, it's actually a really, really fun bar. Right next to the mannequin piece. Okay, here he is. Tell you more about him in a minute. Okay, leaving this little guy behind. Well, I can tell you a little more about him. I'm sorry, there was like a delivery or like a van right in front of him and with all these guys like in and out. It was really embarrassing for me. So, Mannequin Peace is his name and there are a lot of legends about what he symbolizes here and for the longest time I actually thought that he symbolized like a little boy that was lost and when they found him he was peeing so they made a statue of him <laughs> to celebrate the fact that they found him that's what I grew up believing a lot of people say that um, he actually extinguished a bomb by peeing on it that's another one of the urban legends but honestly i haven't found like the correct story behind him and most websites say that he's there to symbolize um brussels <laughs> like that he's like the brussels humor that was a quick uh visit of the mannequin piece that i wanted to show you and um they actually change his appearance every now and then. I don't know if they do that recently. And um, I feel like he's kind of like the Mona Lisa, wait for it, uh, of Brussels in the sense that everyone wants to go and see him. And when you go see him, there's like a crowd of people in front of it. And then you see him and he's actually really, really tiny. So <laughs> it's something that you might want to see and it's fun to see, especially with today. Like there's no one there except sadly for the delivery people. But um, yeah, if you're visiting like the city center anyway, why not make a stop, am I right? Okay, peeps. I'm heading out of the more traditional, uh, more touristy area of the city center and walking towards like the more commercial, like full shit ton of stores part of Brussels and I'm gonna walk through there and go catch the metro back home. Actually, I might have to do some food shopping on the way, but <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm gonna go catch the metro. I usually hate, like with a capital H, <laughs> hate walking through here usually because it's crowded with people because all the stores, everything, all the, the restaurants over here but today, even though it's past 10 now, like well past 10, coming up close to lunchtime, kind of empty, not too many people but still really odd of vlogging in public, <laughs> not gonna lie. So I want to show you the main commercial street. There are more things to show you, but I think this video is long enough and I've walked enough and I've shown you enough. I'm just going to show you one more thing on the way back. <laughs> so what I'm going to show you is Rue Neuve. Actually, I don't remember how to say that in Polish. Neustadt, I suppose, and it's like the main big commercial street. And on most days, it is flooded, like it is a sea of people. And I'm actually excited to see what it looks like, excited, curious to see what it looks like during the lockdown. Crazy guys, this place is usually flooded. Like you can't even see the top of, <laughs> like you can't even see the end of the street usually because of how full it is. I know it's still early in the morning, but usually at this time it's 
full of people. It's really weird to see this place so, so empty. Looks like someone is painting over there. That's interesting. I'll have to come back one day if, and see if it's still there. I can smell a lush door around. <laughs> And this is the way, it's one of the main metro stations in the city because you can go in like a bunch of different directions. <laughs> this is crazy! Look at all of these stores during lockdown. All this closed. 2020. Christmas deco is up. Mad. Okay you guys, the metro is up ahead. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Let me know if you enjoy this kind of video. It's a little awkward for me, but I really enjoyed it, especially if it's sunny like this. It's really awesome to be outside instead of like just working from home every single day in isolation. Ooh, there are a bunch of booties coming by. Give this video a thumbs up to let me know you enjoyed it or leave it in the comments if you enjoyed this type of video and other things you might want to see if I do this type of thing again. I wanted to change it up. I mean, technically I'm not going to be in Brussels that much longer so it's nice to see it through a fresh pair of eyes one more time, even if it is during a weird year and a weird pandemic. So, uh, see you guys in the next one. Hope you're well. <laughs> I'm looking at like what's coming up because I haven't been here in so long. <laughs> Take care, be safe, wear a mask, or you all.